Hi there, this is another video from College Algebra and in this set of videos actually there's, there will be a lot of them we're going to talk about factoring. Okay, This batch of videos should come right after watching our videos, our three videos in special products. So the factors okay, of a given expression consists of two or more algebraic expressions with when multiplied together will produce the give, the original given expression so that is their factors okay in such a way that if we're going to combine them again multiply them again it will give us or lead us to the original one so let's have this this is a common um, trinomial we call this a quadratic trinomial and this is a very common um, problem when we look at factors a common um, problem okay a common statement in factoring so this is a general one um, we're going to go back to our rule number five in the special products we recall that x plus a times the quantity of x x plus b is equal to um, x squared plus the quantity of a plus b of x plus a b so what you can see here are the the constants or the the yeah the constants a and b they are the second terms here and then notice in the middle term the coefficient of the middle term is just the sum of a and b while the third term is just the product of a and b so we're going to make use of that um, concept in such a way that we're going to look at going to look at um um the the what the factors of six here so what are the factors of six that will give it positive so it's either going to be positive six times positive one so six times one or it can be plus negative six times negative one we have also two factors for six namely three and two let me write it again we have two factors for six which is three and two now try which factors that if we're going to add it up it will become negative five six plus one is seven negative six plus negative one is negative seven so it's gonna be not in this part how about here three plus two is positive five but this is negative five so what we're going to do is just to put a negative sign right outside them okay so therefore this is our factors here so this is equal to since we have an x as a first term so we have x plus rather minus minus 3 times x minus 2 and this is the factors of number 1 okay how about number 2 um notice in number 2 we can see here that there's uh there's an x squared in the first term there's a y squared in the middle term so therefore we're somehow expecting that our factors would look like x plus something y times the quantity of x plus something y okay and then what are the factors of 12 that if we're going to add them up will become 7 so we have 3 times 4 we have 6 times 2 and we have 12 times 1 so if we're going to add them up it will become 7 i think there's no doubt that this will be our answers 3 and 4 so therefore it would look like um, let me circle it again. It would look like that we have x plus 3y times the quantity of x plus 4y. And this will be our answer for our number 2 example in factoring. Okay, so don't worry, we're going to talk about more in factoring um, in the succeeding videos. And we're going to talk about a lot of procedures and patterns in doing such. So factorization is generally finding factors. Okay, finding factors of polynomials with integer coefficients. They mind in each of its terms. In such cases, it is it is required that the, that the factors also be polynomials with integer coefficients. Since um, let's make this simple. Um, if you have a if you have a polynomial with integer coefficients, you should factor it with also integer coefficients, not the non-integers or the fractions part. A given polynomial with integer coefficients is said to be prime if it cannot be factored in accordance with the above restrictions. So here, a polynomial is said to be factored completely 
a factor completely when it is expressed as a product of its co or rather prime factors okay prime meaning it cannot be factorized anymore so when you it cannot be factorized anymore it's called a prime factor and we're going to tackle more of that in the next succeeding videos so in factoring we're going to talk about this most common factoring procedures which are very much useful um, anywhere when we take board exams licensure exams and such so we're going to talk about the cmf the common monomial factor we're going to talk about the dots difference of two squares the pst the perfect square trinomial the ones that we have saw already in the quadratic trinomials the sum or difference of two cubes and then the factoring by grouping so i'm going to make one video per each um factoring procedure maybe two if it needs to be to have more examples so yeah i'll be creating two or one for each of the topic so that's it for our short video our introduction just for factoring um again in the next succeeding videos i'm going to talk about more okay in the factoring procedures such as the uh, ots difference of two squares common monomial factoring and factoring by grouping and yeah um that's it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe and um yeah subscribe so that you will be updated of the other latest content okay so thank you very much for watching and see you soon bye